Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification. This is going to be a little bit different video than I normally put out. This is going to be more of an uh, informational video and in how to list an item on eBay. I was just getting ready to go list an item on eBay and they told me that I had this new listing tool to use. So this is my first time going through it and I want to show you guys also a tool that may be open to you guys here in the near future or maybe you already have this option also. So I'm going to share my screen which I may already be doing, I'm not sure how I'm going to set this up, but I'm going to show you how I list this. So here's the eBay listing page right here. It looks way different than I'm normally used to. So I do have the option to actually switch back to the classic view here, which is right here, but I'm going to go through this to see if I can actually figure this out. The one thing it tells me that I can do now, which is different than before, is actually list a video. And you can see right here it says photos and videos. It says photo upload should be JPEG, ping, GIF, uh, TIFF, BMP, at least the pixels, the normal thing. Video upload formats should be an MP4 or a .mov with a 150 megabyte limit or about a minute long. Now I think this could be a good tool if there's something that you want to show, especially if it's larger, and it's, it, it might be easier to do a video. So that is a good option. I'm not going to do a video for this one just because I wasn't ready for it. So what I'm actually going to list right now is this Funko Pop Home Star Wars Jabba the Hut mug. Uh, it's brand new. It's yeah. I, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, but we picked these up at a yard sale. Thought they were gonna sell way better than they do, but they don't. So I'm gonna go down here, and I've just took one of my uh, listings, and you can see it was a Harley Davidson shirt. I usually use that one to do a sell similar, just so I already have some of my stuff down here, as you can see in the description. I try to keep usually the same stuff and just change what the item is. So. I've already copied this, but it's a Jabba the Hutt ceramic mug. But I'm actually going to move this Funko Pop Home to the beginning. Funko Pop Home Jabba the Hutt ceramic mug cup. Star Wars, and I'm going to put brand new. Just because people might be searching for brand new instead of new. We're going to put, we're going to put this in a new bin. I'm going to see. We're going to put this in the PPG Paints Arena. Maybe I'll do a video on how I label our bins too, but this is just a custom label that so when the item sells, I know where this item actually will be. Since we have a ton of bins over here, I want to make sure that I know where this, this item is to not waste time looking for it. So item specifics. Actually, I guess should probably change this category first, only because suggested suggested ones are Funko, which that's what we're gonna use, just because it is a Funko. I'm not going to do a second category just because it costs more money, so I'm not going to do that. No second category. My store categories, is I can have a whole bunch here listed. We are going to actually do, we're going to do personal household, and then we're also going to put it in collectibles. Just if people are searching my collectibles. So that's done there. Item specifics. So we're going to do show more product line. Now, I don't like how they have this because, uh, yeah, this setup's a little bit different for me. Sorry for the noise if you guys can hear it. We are actually getting our bathroom remodeled, so there's some noise going on. I'll go pop home. So we're going to add this custom value, click on that, so that adds it. Character family, I guess we could do Star Wars, which is right there. Character. This one was Jabba the Hutt, my right. I already forgot. It's early, guys. It's early. Jabba the Hutt. I would, when I hear Jabba the Hutt, I think of Pizza Hut. I'm going to say this is a common. Just because it's not an exclusive or anything. And the features... I don't see any features that would work. And also, it's not a convention one. So, so that's it there. So, so far, so good. The store categories we already did. This right here, we're going to change this used. It used to just be click the button. Now it's a little bit different. So here, I usually have whatever it is highlighted in red and bolded. So what I do is I end up going up to my title and copying it down. Right there. Don't go hot. Perfect. Now, where it says used and the size, I'm going to take that out and just say brand new inbox. Simple and easy right there. I just have basically, I list 
shipped through the postal, postal service and UPS. Uh, if you do not pay within four days, eBay does open up a non-paying bidder and then they close it for me. So the buy now price, they have an average sold price of eleven twenty-four. I definitely am not going to ask that for this one. I'm going to go with eight twenty-four. I'm going to do allow offers and start immediately. You can also edit all these to the shipping. We're going to do the shipping policy. I, I know this is going to go medium now. So I'm going to do the $9.99 because it actually, yeah, it's basically a coffee mug. I'm going to do each, I do need to change this. Each additional we will do $4.50. Just in case, I do have two different ones here. So if somebody wants to buy both of them, that's even better. So $8.24, we've already changed that. I'm going to double check all these options though. Okay, everything looks good there. Yeah, this is way different than I'm used to, but I kind of like it. I honestly think that I can get used to this. It just shows where we're shipping from, Baden, Pennsylvania, the zip code. Uh, I do accept returns, 30 days, and the payments are managed. I do an ad rate of 3% on all my items, so it's just something I do. Now, volume pricing, we are going to turn on volume pricing for this. Here's why. Oh, I turned it off. Turned it on. Only because I have two of these. And I'm hoping that maybe somebody will come in and buy both of them. And then they can also save a little bit of money. And that looks like it's it. So then we're going to hit list it. And it's going to list the item for us. And that item will be ready to go. Oh, oh I must add, I forgot to add a photo. You guys are probably thinking, you forgot to add a photo. So here's all my photos. I have it in the eBay's, eBay needs listed folder. So I'm going to double click on it. It says you can drag it too. Um, so there we go. So there's the photo. See, even I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. Now we're going to list it. And let's see what happens. There you go. Your listing is now live. Funko Pop Jabba the Hut. It's it's that easy. It's, some, it's something that's super... Uh, it, the, this new way is a little bit more confusing just because of the way that I've been used to doing it. Uh, other people, you guys might have already had this and it just finally came as an option for myself. So hopefully this video can help you out to learn the list and item on eBay. If you'd like to see it also the classic way or any other informational videos you guys would like to see, please comment below. We love seeing comments. The comments help out the channel and we do respond to each and every comment that is posted. But until next time, guys, remember, smash that thumbs up button. Also hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Definitely helps out the channel, and we love interacting with our subscribers. So until next time, remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep picking. Bye.